Hello, everybody. It's Sock, Executive Director of Trinity Bird. This is number two in our Meet the Playwright series for the 2020 Sock Shorts, which are being performed at Slayton Arboretum in Hillsdale on the campus of Hillsdale College, July 23rd, 25th, and 26th. Two matinees for this show. So if you want more information, including the cast list, info about all of the plays, and tickets, you can go to our website, thesock.org. Today's playwrights, we've had about a two-year relationship with. We presented one of his uh, short plays last year in the Sock Shorts, and he was part of the Living Room Monologues earlier this year, and now we're doing another one of his short plays. Live from, I believe, Los Angeles, here's Scott Mullen. Hi, Scott. Hey, how you doing? Burbank, actually, so. LA and Burbank. Jason. Yes. Oh, <laughs> well, you know, how's the weather out there right now? It's hot. It's about 95. It's, uh, it's a little bit too much. <laughs> it's been, it was in the 90s last week, and we're trying to get used to it since we're doing the show outside this year. So we're trying to, you know. Um, <laughs> so tell us about Scott. Tell us where you went to school, how you got involved in playwriting, all of those fun things. I grew up on, in New York, on Long Island. Uh, I went to Stony Brook University, which is part of the State University of New York uh, system. Um, majored in English. I took a playwriting course there and uh, got an A somehow, even though I never went to class. I just wrote a <laughs> play and it got an A. Uh, I then never wrote another play for, for 30 years. Um, really? Yeah, just, just I uh, eventually I came out to LA to, to be a screenwriter and to read screenplays, which is how I make a living. And uh, I optioned a few screenplays. I've had a few TV movies made, but uh, about four and a half years ago, I decided I saw an evening of 10 minute plays uh, written by Mark Harvey Levine, who is right. amazing. And mm -hmm. uh, and then I saw another evening uh, and I got really inspired and I just started writing them and I've written a couple hundred since then. Yeah. So, uh, so it's crazy, but, uh, but yeah, so now it's, 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 you know, I'm not getting rich from it, but, but I love doing it. You know? <laughs> So I think, isn't your official title screenplay analyst? Uh, yes, I'm a screenplay analyst. I read scripts and books for production companies, um, basically giving the executives a synopsis of the script and uh, and my thoughts about whether or not it could be a movie or whether it needs more work or whether it's hopeless. Um, so they don't have to read the script if they don't want to, but they know what it's about because they can read my notes. So. Sure. That's awesome. It's, it's a living. Yeah. It's, how, it's... Many, how many screenplays do you think you read in a year? Um, well, I also read for contests, so, so okay. the, the coverage of that is shorter. I can read more quicker for that. So I was keeping a running tally at one point. I think in my career, I've read maybe 18,000 things. Wow. And, uh, and that helps that that's made me a better storyteller because now I sure. understand story. I know what works. Um, sure. so, uh, so yeah, I sit down to write a play and, and I've got something in my brain that knows how to make it interesting, I guess. I sure. So our, our, uh, the Sox relationship with you started last year when we did Stuck, yes. um, which is still talked about. Um, I, I guess I want to talk about that play a little bit and where that idea came from, because it's such a unique and interesting idea. Well, it, it, it's funny. I, I'm affiliated with a theater company out here called Neo Ensemble Theater. And okay. uh, about four years ago, they did a, a production of plays that were all set in an airport. And I, I wrote a really wacky comedy about uh, a guy dressed as a therapy dog in an airport. And uh, I wrote a different, really strange comedy. And I thought I, I should write something a little more serious, a little more character based. Sure. So I also wrote Stuck. And Stuck was the one that turned out to be um, really, it, it, it's one of my most performed plays. Because for some reason, it just kind of strikes a chord with people. Yeah, and, uh, sure. and yeah, it's just um, and so so, and it's, the funny thing is, this theater company keeps doing evenings of plays set in an airport. <laughs> so I've actually written, I think, thirteen airport plays now, and I have like wow. nine of them in a collection that I'm trying to actually start to send out and get people to to do. So we'll That's see awesome. where that goes. Yeah. So then you were you did that, and then we had you write one of the monologues for Living Room Monologues. Yes. Um, yes. You wrote Distance, which Tracy McCullough performed. Yeah, she was great. She, She's awesome, and she loved the piece, we, as we all did. And now we're doing Coaster, which I have to tell you, 
we um i we don't want to give too much away but obviously it takes place on a roller coaster um because we're in the arboretum <laughs> and we've got multiple plays sort of rehearsing we're sort of spread through the arboretum but you always know when coaster is rehearsing because the screaming <laughs> echoes through the <laughs> We didn't even cool. know we were rehearsing one day and someone was like, oh, there, Coaster's over there. And we're like, yeah, that's it. Um, you want to talk about Coaster a little bit and maybe? Um, Coaster came out of this really crazy thing I did last August. Uh, me and Matthew Weaver challenged each other to write a 10 minute play every single day. Yes. And, uh, and so when you just have to sit down and write a play, um, you just start letting your mind go crazy places. And I was thinking of where can I set a play that's interesting? And I had written a play that was set on a, bungee jumping platform once that was really turned out really good. So I was thinking roller coaster, what can I do on a roller coaster? And it just kind of, I just started typing and it just kind of came together. And uh, it's another play that, that wasn't done until this year anywhere, but, but people are starting to do it and like it. So it's, it's, well, it's really, it's what I love about your writing is it's very, very funny, but there's so much heart in it. At least the things yeah. you've done, I would say. Um, you know, even yeah, I, have, I have a few darker plays, but mostly I write comedies and I like I, a lot of character stuff too. That's so sort of the comedy comes out of the characters more sure. than than just sort of being all slapsticky and farces. It's right. more based in people, you know. And I like happy endings. I like I like you know not to give anything away with this play, but, but <laughs> we'll see where it goes. So. Right, right. So we we I think we can safely say that the, the premise is a couple working on their relationship problems yes while riding a roller coaster yes because yeah. you know that's it's hard to, to escape from a roller coaster when it's moving so and see and we're located somewhat near cedar point which is you know the roller coaster capital of the world so you know cool. we i think they've even sort of visualized that that's sort of where they are in the play so nice great so What's next? What are you working on? What what things are you doing? How are you surviving quarantine? All of those things. Um, yeah, it's it's well, I'm I'm lucky because I get to work out of my home. So uh, and I always have worked, so it didn't really change my life that much. Um, I've been very busy, fortunately. Um, so I haven't been writing a lot, but I've been trying to write a lot of plays that can be done on Zoom. Yeah, because that's that's where people are doing shows a lot this year and. Mm -hmm. What's really interesting is plays written specifically for Zoom really kind of work on Zoom because you're not you're not watching and trying to imagine what it's gonna look like on a stage. It's actually right. being done where it's supposed to be done. So I've written a few of those and they seem to be doing very well. So Good. it's fun. Just to, it's 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 a new challenge to write something that actually takes place on a Zoom platform and how can you make that funny and interesting and yeah. 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 Well, we're thrilled to do your work. We love your work. I'm sure we'll do many more. Cool. Um, and uh, so Coaster is in this year's Sock Shorts. Um, people can also still check out Distance, which is still on our website under Living Room on Logs. And uh, thanks for taking a few minutes, Scott, to help us promote Excellent. Sock Shorts. Excellent. Right. And, yeah, have, have fun with it. And, uh, yeah, it, it's exciting to, uh, to see theater back being done again. So yeah, we're adapting. That's we, we're calling the 2020 season a season of flexibility. Oh so, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. All right, ticket information's on our website, and uh, watch tomorrow for another playwright. And if you want to check out Matthew Weaver, who we just talked about, his interview is also live on our Facebook page and YouTube. All right, bye everybody. Thanks for watching. <laughs>